Welcome back. Today we're continuing our game in Unreal Engine and we're going to get started with setting our weapon up. The first step we're going to do is talk about particles and finding a particle system that looks like a muzzle flash that will work for our weapon so that when we pull the trigger we have this flash coming out of the end of the barrel. If you've missed my previous um, videos, you can check me out on my YouTube channel, Paul Fritz Animation, and check out the other previous classes. This is video number five, so there are videos one through four already set up on there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, getting started here. And turn some of this stuff off. And let's see if we can head out of the way. There we go. So now we should be able to see my screen okay here. And this is what we've got so far. Okay, that's what I get for using my controls while I am trying to use Unreal Engine. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and get started with our character. Now the first thing we need to do is determine if we already have particle systems or a particle system that works as a muzzle flash that's already been downloaded. Now with the characters that came from the Unreal uh, Engine or the Epic Marketplace, so any of these Paragon characters here um, that have different types of weapon systems, they're all probably going to come with some sort of a, a system that may have some sounds in them and also uh, a particle system that fits the type of weapon that they're using. So I use this one right here, Lieutenant Bellica, and she actually does have some particle systems that came with her. Um, you can always try to uh, find other ones. There are some, of course, in the marketplace, some ones that are for purchase, but uh, I haven't been able to actually find muzzle flashes and those type of things, impact points, for free uh, consistently on the marketplace. So even though I would like to send you here to get those, again, um, the best thing to do is, even if you're not using a Paragon character, you may end up needing to add them to your project so you can use some of their particle systems. So uh, that's kind of a starting place, you need to find those particle systems. The next thing we need to do is locate where they are in our project. And right now, they're, if we go to our contents, our very top folder down here, and just type in P for particle and then underscore, it's going to get uh, pull up all of the things that, can, of course, have a P in it. So a lot of things that don't have to do with um, our particular thing that we're looking for. But we could type in muzzle flash. We could type in muzzle. You can see right here. Um, mine has P underscore Bellica, so if I were to just type in that, I'd come up with all the particles that have to do with my uh, character. So I'll just type in that real quick, just to kind of uh, thin this search thing out. And then down here along the bottom, you'll see that here is the P Bellica muzzle flash for the particular weapon that my character is using. This would work with any um, uh, projectile style weapon. There's also some impact points here which we're going to come back to as well. We're going to use some of these particles for this, and I'll probably use this one, the hit, hit character one, um, because it actually looks pretty decent. So, uh, and we'll take a look at it here. So here's the muzzle flash. If I double click on it and open it up, and you can see that uh, there's this muzzle flash that pops out, and then there looks like there's some, some uh, spent round casings that fall out. So a burst weapon. And then also for the impact point here, you see that there is also this occurring here. There's the impact point where the bullet would hit something. So we're going to end up using those. The second one we're going to use actually when we start making our blueprints, we'll be able to just pull that one right in. But knowing where it is and what the name of it is will make it easier to locate. But we are going to need to use this one for this part of what we're going to work on right now. So, um, kind of jumped ahead of myself a little bit. We're going to have to come back to this. Sorry about that, but uh, I'm going to have to first open up my blueprint for my character. So, I need to go into my blueprints, my pawns, and find my character. And I just want the blueprint that we created for our character. And we're going to go to, uh, in this case, I'm going to just pull up the blueprint so we can kind of see what's happening here. And we're going to get this set up right up in here uh, so we have a muzzle flash. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to take a look at our character and how we're going to attach this muzzle flash in here. And um, the first thing is 
we're going to attach it to the mesh of our character. This is our character. We're going to make it a child of our character. So we're going to go back here into level one and then back to content. And yes, we're going to have to type it in again because I did this out of order. But I want to find my muzzle flash. This muzzle flash right here for uh, Lieutenant Bellica, my character. You can type in whatever yours, of course, the character that you're using. I was using a different character. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit so that I can uh, see both the muzzle flash here and right here, the mesh. And let me pull this back up real quick. This is where we're going to attach it again. Like I said, we're going to pull it to the mesh. So I'm going to pull this down, find that mesh. What I want to do is I'm going to take this muzzle flash, this particle system here. I'm going to click and drag and drop it right here on top of the mesh. And now it is a child of my character. And if we kind of back out just a little bit, you can see it's right down here at her feet. This is not where we want it to be. We need to get it up here into the area of the muzzle for the weapon. And over here, if we take a look, this is the particle. It talks about the particle system here, all the pieces of it. And we could, you know, physically move it up and put it in here. But we want it to also stay attached to our weapon when our weapon is moving around. We don't want it to be in just a static position right in front of her because if she's pointing over here or your character's pointing over here and the muzzle flash is going over here, that doesn't really look right. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that it is actually attached to the appropriate socket on her character. And in these characters, the Paragon characters, um, have quite a few uh, sockets and systems set up uh, to make it so that you can attach things to them fairly easily. So right here where it says parent socket, this is where we're going to want to put it. But what are we going to want to put there? Let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to click on my mesh again. Right here I want to pull up my skeletal mesh of my character. And this is my character. And right down here, the weapon that we're, we're using is an SMG down here. So if I click on the weapon, it automatically will scroll through all of these pieces for me and it will locate the weapon that I picked down here. And you can see that there are a lot of pieces to this weapon. Right down here is the SMG, the back end part of the SMG, and right underneath it, SMG barrel. If I click on that, since this is pretty much where we want the particle to go, right here at the barrel, it makes a lot of sense to use this as a socket. And that's what this is. This is a socket that we can attach it to. Okay, if I hover over it, you can see that that little symbol right here, a little kind of a socket looking end to it, indicates that it is a socket. You can hover over it. It says this is a socket on the skeleton only. Okay, so that tells us that this is the right piece that we want. It's called SMG underscore barrel. Yours might be different uh, for whatever your character is, but you pretty much can get to it the same way I did. Uh, select the, the weapon, go through it, look for this symbol, and then click on it to see where it's located on your weapon. It's most likely called whatever the weapon type is with a barrel name on it, something like that. Um, so you can easily, more easily find it, okay? And um, so we're gonna go ahead and use that socket. So now I'm gonna go back to my character here, select back on the particle that I have in here. And right here where it says, uh, parent socket, I'm going to click on that little search button and I'm going to type in SMG. And you can see that those areas that I had a choice to be able to connect to are right here. And this is my SMG barrel. I'm going to click on that. Now the particle system has located right here. It was a real quick flash. I don't know if you saw that, but this is where the particle system is located. If I hit the little simulation button right here, you can see that every time I hit it, now it's really far back here in the barrel. I would rather have this more towards the tip of the barrel. So make sure that um, you don't have the snapping selected or if you do have it selected, you have it set to a really small uh, segment, uh, snapping segment. I usually just turn it off and let me go ahead and undo this. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the stop button on here then. Let's see here. Okay.
Okay. Not sure what's happening. Here for a second. Let's see here what's happening. Let's see here. Okay, let me pause for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Weird, it just kind of got hung up on me. Decided it didn't want to play nice. Uh, I should be able to just hit the simulation button and it should stop. But uh, anyway, so back to selecting the, the muzzle flash here. What I want to do is I'm going to pull this out more towards the tip of the barrel. And you can see as I drag it, it starts to fly out there anyway. Now, I hit the simulation button. You can see the rounds flying out. And that was the wrong button. So anyway, um, that is basically uh, it for getting the, the particle system attached for the muzzle flash to the tip of our character. So now, um, right now, if you hit play, nothing's going to happen on our um, character. If I hit play, from here, what's going to happen basically is my character is just here. We don't have any things set up for her to activate that particle system yet. So that is something that will have to be fixed when we start to do our blueprints. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hunt down some sound and that'll be in the next video. So again, if you like what you saw, please like my video. If you are interested in catching up on some of the other videos that we have, then um, please go ahead and visit my uh, YouTube page, Paul Fritz uh, Animation, and uh, subscribe or like. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.